In this video, we're going to talk about mental and physical preparation for your time at Kunyushan. We're going to start with the mental preparation. Basically, as far as mental preparation goes, first of all, be prepared for ultimate culture shock. Unless you are from a, a country similar to China, you're probably going to be completely blown away by how differently things are done there versus what you're used to at home. Just take it in stride, have a good time with it, and understand. Hopefully I don't sound too preachy on this, but remember you're in their country and you know it's important to respect the way that they do things in their country rather than trying to change the way that they do them to match how you're used to at home. So I'll get off my soapbox on that one. <laughs> But definitely be prepared for things to be incredibly different. Also, as far as mental preparation goes, be prepared to go without a lot of the comforts that you're used to having at home. It is a very nice school, especially for schools in China, at least as far as I saw. But it's also not a resort. It's not a vacation spot. It's a kung fu school, and you're there to work hard and learn and not necessarily have like a relaxing experience but have a good learning experience, have a good growing experience. So go there prepared for that. Don't go there prepared for you know, a five-star hotel where you have everything that you could possibly want provided for you. Your necessities are definitely provided for, and a little bit beyond that, it's a nice school. They pride themselves in trying to make it as um, friendly to foreigners as possible, and I think they do a really good job of that. But just be prepared for it to be different. Be prepared for it to be um, not as comfortable as what you're probably used to, and we're prepared to go there for a lot of hard work. Another thing that's really good to prepare for mentally is the language barrier. Try to learn, like really try to learn as much Chinese as you can before you get over there. I wish I had tried harder before I got over there, but when I got there, I was able to at least um, get around. You know, I could ask for directions, I could haggle for good prices at the market, um, I could do basic things like that, I could order food but I wasn't able to like carry on conversations with people, so I didn't have like relationship building kind of uh, vocabulary available, but I had the necessities that I needed to get around and do the things that I wanted to do. They do have Chinese language classes available at the school, but I'm not someone who learns really great in that kind of a setting, in the classroom setting, especially when it comes to language. Even in college, I found that I don't really mesh well with the way that language is taught in a classroom setting. I do really well with um, a course that I can sit down and just put my, my time into and kind of get lost in it and not have to meet you know, deadlines or do it in a class type of setting. So it kind of depends on how you learn best. I'd still recommend learning as much as you can even if you're planning to take the classes that they offer there at the school. And if you're not planning to take those classes, I would still recommend trying to learn as much as you can before you go. As far as physical training goes, train as much as you can before you get there. If you get there and you're not in good shape, you're going to spend a lot of the time that you're there trying to get in good enough shape so that you can really start learning the martial arts that they have to offer there. If you get in shape before you go, then you can jump in and you probably won't be able to get into the same kind of shape that you'll need to be in for training over there because over there you're training all day and back home you probably don't have the option of training all day, which is why you're wanting to go to the school in the first place. But try to get in the best shape that you can because if you're in good shape when you get over there, if you're flexible, if you're strong, if you have good cardio, then you'll be able to learn quickly and you won't have to waste a bunch of time trying to catch up in the fitness level and then start learning. You're able to you know, have a kind of easier um, move into the fitness level that they need over there and then you'll be able to start learning quicker. So if you're serious about your training over there, try to get as fit as possible back home so that while you're there, you can keep up and you can learn as much as possible during your stay. Some things that I would recommend is run as much as you can because you will be running a ton over there, so get used to running a lot. Um, stretch as much as you can because a lot of the martial arts that they teach require a good amount of flexibility and so you will be stretched over there and it's better to be stretched and flexible than really inflexible and have people stretching you. So definitely stretch, definitely train hard and try to get your fitness level up as high as you can before you go. A workout program that might be um, suitable for trying to get you to the correct fitness level is something like the Insanity Workout. You've probably seen adverts for them on TV and it is a crazy workout doesn't have to be that workout, but anything that's going to get you to work your butt off and get in crazy good shape before you go is going to be a good program for you before you head over. Another thing that you're going to want to consider as far as physical preparation goes, if you're planning to take the morning Tai Chi and Qigong and evening Tai Chi and Qigong class, um, 
the qigong that they most often do is the standing like a post qigong and that will be held for anywhere from 15 to every once in a while about 25 minutes we've held it as long as half an hour before that's not necessarily the norm but that can tend to be uncomfortable if you're not used to that so i've put up several follow along videos on youtube where <laughs> you just practice you follow along doing this posture for a certain amount of time starting with one minute and it works all the way up to 30 minutes so I would highly recommend if you're planning to do those classes to use those videos to your advantage and get used to standing like this for at least 20 minutes so that when you get there you can get a lot more out of your qigong instead of just sitting there thinking about how much your shoulders aren't enjoying what you're doing so um, a link for that video is at the bottom in the description so go ahead and have a look at that if you feel like you're gonna take part in those classes and you wanna be prepared for them. One last thing for the mental preparation. Remember while you're over there that the instructors that you're learning from are top notch. They're really good, they're professional at what they do, they've been doing it all their lives and they've been teaching for probably more years than most people have even been studying martial arts. So they understand what they're doing. It's really a bummer when students go over there and they try to tell the teacher how they want to learn and they have all of this incredible knowledge available to them and all this incredible skill available to them. Instead of learning from that, they want to tell the teacher how fast they want to learn. They want to tell the teacher what they want to learn, all this kind of stuff instead of trusting the teacher to know what's best. So as far as mental preparation goes, I would highly recommend that instead of going over there with an attitude of um, knowing <laughs> go over there with an attitude of not knowing and really absorb as much as you can from those instructors because the instructors at that school are amazing and they will teach you as much as they can they will work hard for you and they will they will try to get you to grow as much as you can while you're there i hope you found this video very useful for you and i hope it helps you prepare for your trip to kunyushan have a great time while you're over there